Hello and welcome to Otten Math. In this edition of Otten Math, we're going to learn what we know about parallelograms and quadrilaterals to solve one, just one problem from our homework. Okay, so here is the problem. I have triangle KOR, which is, and we'll mark this up in just a second. KOR is equilateral, KOPR and KMOR are parallelograms. And we want to prove that triangle JMP is equilateral. Well, we need to know, first of all, that if we have an equiangular triangle, then it ends up being an equilateral triangle. So let's talk about why that's the case. So if I have, let's just say, I have, uh, oops, excuse me, if I have two angles that are congruent, and we'll do these in red, I have KJR that's congruent, and I have KRJ that's congruent, then I can say that KJ and KR are going to be congruent because if angles are congruent, the sides opposite them are congruent as well. Um, and if I know that JKR uh, is congruent to JRK, so I have an equiangular triangle, uh, now I can say that uh, JR, let's do this in black, JR is going to be congruent to KR and JK. So if I have uh, angles congruent, their opposite sides are congruent. So it works out that if I have an equiangular triangle, I also have an equilateral triangle. So what we're going to try to do is we're going to prove, not try to do, but we're going to prove that angle J, angle JKR, and angle JRK are all congruent. And that's how we're going to prove that JMP uh, eventually is going to be uh, equilateral and equiangular. Okay. So here we go. All right, so we've marked up the diagram here. So we're given triangle KOR is equilateral. So KOR is equilateral. I've marked up the dashes here. And maybe we should just start right at the beginning. And we'll just go through this entire process for you. So I'm going to erase this first. And then we'll talk about how we got to what I just got to. Okay, so triangle KOR is equilateral. KOR is equilateral, so I have all the sides for KOR that are going to be congruent. And uh, we talked about how when all the sides are congruent, then the angles are also congruent. So I have an equilateral, equiangular triangle. So, excuse me, uh, RKO, uh, KOR, and ORK are all going to be congruent. Now I also know that KOPR, KOPR, and KMOR are going to be parallelograms. And that means that the sides, um, the opposite sides are going to be congruent. So RO is congruent to KM. RO is congruent to KM. KR is congruent to MO. KR is congruent to OP. And RP is congruent to KO. So now I have three pairs of triangles, or three, three triangles that are congruent by uh, side, side, side. Right, so now I'm going to mark up the angles here because I know that uh, if KOR is congruent to MKO and ORP, then the corresponding angles are going to be congruent as well. So I mark these up. Now I also know that uh, KR is parallel to OP and it's also parallel to MO. All right, and I know that uh, KO is parallel to RP, which also makes it parallel to JR. And I have KM uh, that's parallel to OR, which also makes it parallel to JK. So if I think of JP as a parallel line to KO, I can say then that MKO is going to be congruent to KJR because they're corresponding angles. So I mark up, wrong pen, I mark up KJR. And now you see that I have an equiangular triangle and JMP. And because it's equiangular, it's also equilateral. So JMP is equilateral. So let's go through the proof. All right, uh, I've give, I give you the givens and the proof statement. I say triangle KOR is equilateral. That's given. So again, we mark up the diagram. KOR is equilateral. 
And then I say that KO, RO, and KR are all congruent. That's a definition of equilateral triangle. I know that KOPR and KM OR uh, uh, parallelograms, that's given. That tells me that MK uh, is congruent to RO, and I have KR congruent to MO, and I have KO congruent to RP, and I have KR congruent to OP. Now I also know, because they're parallelograms, that KR is parallel to MP, and I have KO parallel to JP, and I have JK parallel to RO. Uh, now I'm going to say that KO, OR, MK, RP, MO, OP, KR, they're all congruent, and I've already marked that up. I'm going to say the triangles MKO, KOR, ROP are all congruent by side, side, side. Now I'm going to say that angles MKO, OKR, MRO, ORP, OPR, MOK, I'm sorry, OMK are all congruent by CPCTC. So I marked all these angles up. Three congruent triangles by side, side, side. And I'm going to say angle RJK is congruent to MKO. Because if I have parallel lines, then corresponding angles are congruent. Now I can say that angle RJK is congruent to OPR and OMK by the transitive property. Now I can say that JKR is an equilateral triangle. Now I'm going to say definition of equilateral triangles, all sides are congruent. But I'm also going to imply, uh, as part of what I discussed up front, and in order to save a little space, that uh, by definition of an equilateral triangle, when I have equi or the same angles, uh, angle measures in a triangle, then I have an equilateral triangle as well.